Hello everybody, welcome back to iCraft SMP, and I am here out by the pumpkin melon farm and I've been looking at some stuff. So I tried to gather some resources to decide to convert this into an automatic pumpkin melon farm, which would probably take about the same amount of space. And here's what happens. I have enough resources for this stuff. When it comes down to the pistons and the observers, that's when I start to run out of stuff. And the minecart, by the way, I have to get the, my hopper minecart. That's what all of this would have been. So, yeah, then I kind of go, well, I don't think I have enough iron in that iron farm over there to even realistically try to make more than one of these. And so I was like, well, what should I do then? And that's what brings me over to these little hoppers here. And I could probably get away, depending on how it goes, I could probably get away with making a, sh a smaller sugarcane farm. Because realistically, I do need sugarcane. And it might be easiest to try to make a sugarcane farm first before I make anything else. And that's where I'm at the dilemma of, like, how should I do this, you know? And so what I'm looking at, well... This will be like one little port, and then this here will be a second port, and so on and so on. And so, oops, I don't want to, that was kind of cool. Look at that, I threw it like half sideways. Anyway, so, that was neat, that's kind of neat. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I make that, look, there's salmon down there. How do I make this work where I can probably put like, I don't know, four, five, maybe four or five of these in a row, kind of like this. And then there will be sugarcane there. And then I could just also go around in a big giant circle and then have a place where I just pick up the sugar cane. And that's the part I'm, I'm trying to sort of just work out in some way. And I just don't know if it's realistically possible, but I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can make like a four or five sugar cane silo kind of thing back here. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, I failed, okay? And I've watched a video. Yes, I watched a video. Who was it again? Let me let me actually pull up the little guy the little guy's video. Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. Like his, he has a funky name. Um he is goodness, I can't even see it. Come on. Vidar Gavia. Vidar Gavia essentially made a um, 1.3 sugarcane farm. And he made it in a really interesting way, and I actually liked how he made it in a way. And it's actually small, it's compact, and it's doable, in, at least in my opinion. So this is one, two, three, four, five. I could try for five down, or I can keep it to four. I don't know. Let's try keeping it to four and see what that does here. I'm trying to do... Jeez, that thing like bites right there, man. So let's keep it at four, and then we'll try to just do a circle of four here. And then from there, we'll take the stuff on the inside and we'll do some stuff with the inside there. Because actually, I could shrink this down even more than I have it here. Realistically, I could probably cut out this stuff in the middle. Just by going down two and making it a three by three. But I don't know if that's going to be enough sugar cane to be realistic. And what's going to what's gonna happen is um, where the dirt blocks are, there's going to be another sugar cane collection station there. And then I think it's going to have to drop down one block. And I don't know how that's all going to play out when it comes back out on the other side. Because, yeah, you know how it goes. Yeah, so what I'm afraid of, and this is why I wanted to use the other one. What I'm afraid of is these guys are going to kind of roll away on me. And that's a little bit of what I'm afraid of. And I'm not sure if I can get it to stick. Kind of like how it got it there. But I'm going to... Where is your hopper, buddy? You're supposed to have a hopper. Why don't you have a hopper, man? There's at least one of these guys without a hopper. Anyway, there it goes. Much better. And if I can get it to sit like that without rolling away, I can at least save me a little money without having to use the power rail that I had from earlier. Yeah, dude. This guy doesn't even have a hopper. What's up with this? So, and by saving it, by saving a little money, I think I can make that work. I do have the rails for it just to keep it there, but I'm good. I'm actually just going to get rid of the rails. So the rails aren't even going to be used for anything useful. And so what we're going to do here now is, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try this. We're going to stick some sand. Obviously, it's going to work here. Oh, it does. Okay, good. We're just going to try this on one side first, and then we'll try to see what we can do. Let's see if we can pop the rail off. Oh, yes, it did. Good. Okay. Keep it going. Okay, good. Nice. We got this to work. Yay. And you know what I could have done? I was just thinking about this. 
Look at that. That's so cool. It looks like an eye from Minecraft. So what I could have done, actually, is I could interconnect all of these together and then just have one being like an output line. And that output line could basically be like one side here. Let's do that. Let me refresh this. Be right back. Okay, I got all my hoppers in place and now I'm going to destroy the rail and I think I actually might be able to make this work with another ring and it's going to be tricky actually. No, I don't think I can do it. I really don't think I could do it because if I put another ring in here, I would have to actually make this wider by like maybe two blocks and then I can do a second ring because if you think about it, I'm going to have to have on top of it, it's going to be behind it, it's going to be blocks and so it would actually only be four, just these two would only be the one that could have it but so if I make this a little bit wider I could do it uh, I have room to make it wider if I just pop this out and add a couple more blocks take this out and so on I have an extra like base or two to pop out and so if I make it wider by one block even just one block that'll make it three this way and three that way that'd be a three by three on the inside and if I have three by three on the inside I don't know one two three It'll be three in the middle, and then it'll be like one, two, three, four, five. I don't think it work. I really don't think it work. But I could do like two more in the middle. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so next up, we have to actually. Con I I know I need more stone blocks, but we have to actually contain this here. And I I'll flesh out the bottom later. I've got things I could do at the bottom. So and this is why I had to have that extra block out there. So we're gonna have this out here, and then we need a second row up here and then what's going to go on top of that will be the pistons and the pistons will be sitting up here and then what's going to be on top of the pistons will be the observer blocks and I believe the observer blocks have to go this way somehow and I don't have the space to do it because I don't have a way to stand up here good job me and then of course I need some more blocks to put in is this going to be the face yeah it's going to face the right way and then the observer blocks are going to go this way so that way when the sugar cane does grow it's going to get shoved by these guys right here and then it's going to knock off essentially the two off the top minus the bottom one and then these guys are going to be powered by redstone that's going to go on the back of the of the pistons so let me get a couple pieces of sugar cane and just make sure like this idea is going to do what it's supposed to do at least for now i mean i don't need all of this just like a couple pieces a couple pieces would do and so as the sugar cane grows little by little, it should start to function. And this is going to be like a small little sugar cane farm. The question I have is, will it work even higher? And I think I need some water here. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that through, did I? Yeah, I think I need a water block. Okay, and the idea here is we want to seal this off here. So what I was thinking I could do is put lights down there. And just kind of get lights around on the bottom. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the center here. I don't really need the center for anything. So I could just like cancel out. This would be just, you know, like a waste of water right here. So yeah, there we go. That way we have, and actually I can even put lights right in here instead of lights in there. Either way it works, you know, and it doesn't matter whether we have dirt down there or we have other random things. But, um, you know, for the sake of the build, people are going to complain that there's dirt down there. So we're going to just, you know, put stone in dead and make people's life a little happier when they see stone. You know what I mean? I think I went too far with that one. Oh my goodness, what the heck, man. So I could do it one of two ways. I can either have the lights kind of like how I have them now, um, or I can put the lights right over the water, right up against this. And that would actually create a probably way better glow radiant here. Um, I could do this. Oops, I put too much light there. But yeah, I could do this and just go around the whole build here with just... I assume that went in here. I have no idea where that one went. It, oh, there it is. Okay, good. Yikes. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, so I can have the lights be on the outside here. Of course, you know, you're not going to see any of this. And what you're going to end up seeing is all of this come up. And then what I can put right over that is that is where I could put my glass right here and just go one, two, three, and four. And then just do the same thing one more time, actually, for the top piece. Because this is going to be the second, and then that will be the third. And that way, everything just falls in. And then I could put one extra light up on the top. And, of course, to keep this all kind of contained in there, I could just, you know, stack this up here and stack this up there. It's not like we need those. And that should, in theory, cover everything I need to do. And whether I need the light in here, I probably don't. So I could just, you know, take these guys out again and put something else in this place so what I was thinking my original thinking would have been this here 
And then, you know, I could do half slabs so that way nothing spawns up here as well. That would be a good idea, right? I have just barely enough pistons to make this work, which means I'm going to have just barely enough observer blocks to make this work. And I'm going to have like this really cool mini uh, silo uh, sugarcane farm. So this is going to be kind of neat. I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like where it's actually going to go. And then, of course, these. this is where the redstone goes, by the way, folks. This, it goes right back behind this here. You just stick all the redstone, just four pieces. And that's what's going to power this once the sugar cane grows. And if I've done my job, and if I've done it right, this all should work extremely well, okay? And everything should be, like, totally awesome once it works. The question also becomes how efficient is this i think it's going to be lossless because i'm covering up everything where the sugar cane could come out so that means the only place it could go down is down there with the minecart hoppers and when it goes down into the minecart hoppers there should be no way for it to escape in a, in a sense so we're going to find that out very soon and then i'm also wondering do i have a way to do a stack and get the second one above it i think i do because i have 32 more observer blocks so let me see how many observer blocks I actually burn through to build this and just for a single layer. And I might be able to, what the heck observer? Why are you guys tipping? No, 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 no tipping. Tipping is not allowed. We're not like tipping redstone right now. Anyway, so, uh, but yeah, so at home, by the way, I was looking, since we're building something like kind of made like this, I would build, I was thinking of putting in a solar panel. And I found out, by the way, the price was very reasonable at $15,000, okay? Now, $15,000 is a lot of money, so they gave me some options, and I was going to do a loan. But I read the fine print, people. Read the fine print of anything you get. So what the loan would have done is keep kept the solar panels on collateral, which is totally fine. I get it. You know, keep the equipment on collateral. Do whatever you want with the equipment. I'm fine with that. Take it if you think I'm not paying for it. But it also gives them the ability to remotely shut off the solar panels. And I'm like, uh, I don't want you guys to turn off my solar power and get me screwed with the giant bill. Or stacked with whatever it gets me charged with. You know what I mean? And then they also had an interesting thing of not just putting collateral on the solar panel. But they ended up filing, they would have ended up filing it with the county. Which would essentially made it a lien on the house. And I'm like, uh, lien on the house? What? I don't think so, people. I don't think so. Oh, I got all my reserve blocks. That's cool. So I have 20 left. So that's 4, 8, 16. Okay, cool. So I could do another row on top of this to make it even more efficient. And then the only thing I have to figure out is how to get the... the Those right there, the hoppers to drop down and connect to this guy and that that would just be like dropping a set of hoppers and connecting in i just don't know if it would get disrupted by that every time it goes off something to think about you know so let me go ahead and get up here and get the rest of the glass in the rest of the light in since it's getting dark might as well do all that now right and then um i need more sugar cane i didn't i didn't plan my sugar cane very well did i okay hey folks it actually works look at this look at this i'm just gonna do them all and as soon as I get one, it does them all. That's awesome. So it does work efficiently or effectively. That's pretty cool. And I know there's some leaking sugar cane out there, but that's only because I've yet to cover up the remaining holes here and just kind of keep it sealed off. So that way, like, nothing can leak and nothing can get out. And if I do put a second one above it, I'm just going to have to make more pistons. But that shouldn't be too hard to do, right? At least I don't think so. I should have all the resources I need to make more pistons. Hopefully. I know I don't have enough resources to make more of this because I'm out of stone brick yet again. I know I like running out of stone brick, don't I? <sighs> I know. It. I'm just mining it little by little. But anyway, with the solar panel project, I, I do want to point out something. So I thought the solar panel thing would be viable. In the long run, yes, it would. In the long run, it would save me tons of money. But with the way they structured and set up the loan, I was like, you know, I really don't like how you guys did that. I wish you guys would have done it better and done something completely different than the way you guys structured it. So, yikes, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's my only dilemma. Hey, look at that. We could totally put, like, villagers in here and just, like, have a breeding villager farm or something in there. I don't know what to do with the center. I just made it, like, too big, I guess. And this probably should have been done three by three. So that way it's smaller and skinnier. But, hey, this works. I mean, I, I'll leave that middle alone. We'll figure out what to do with the middle. So let me go ahead and gather some more stuff and get this thing built up a little bit higher. And then we'll try to do a second row above it. And then from there, I think that'll be good because that'll be... Mm, ooh, I hate when I do that. That I know. 
the fact you might have to break glass. So that would be about, what is it, 16? 16? 16? 16, 32. So that would be 32 of the sugar cane. And how quickly they will fall apart and come in here, I don't know yet. And I probably need like a lot more than just this. Maybe like a third row above that for it to be really effective. Maybe even a fourth row. Just go up four rows. And then it will start to be really effective after that. But then, you know, four rows would just start to disrupt my view way up there. I don't know if I have the ability to do that. I already know I don't have the resources to be, go beyond two rows. So I think I'll just stick with two rows and see what I can do. I'm going to figure out how to get that second row up in a few minutes. Okay, probably didn't think something through. I probably shouldn't have put all of that there because how am I going to break the rail? Um, yeah, by the way, I'm short about seven minecarts. So I'm going to have to go find somewhere to get some extra iron just randomly. Um, there is a public iron farm, but I'm not entirely sure how well it works, to be honest. So, yeah, I just need three and four here, and then we got it made. And then I have to figure out how to break the rails from here. So I've got all my pistons, and I think I'm good there. I just need to get the extra minecart. So let me go see if I can get myself some extra minecarts. So that way I can try to finish up this project. Not minecarts, but at least extra iron. Um, it's five per minecart, so I need at least 35 pieces of iron. Okay, I went and got some more iron. This is good. Um, there's a public iron farm. It had some of the... I, I don't even know if this was Luke's or not, but uh, it had a lot of iron in it, so I, I borrowed it. So there's enough in here to make me my last, I think, five, four, four minecarts, I think it is. So four hopper minecarts is what I need. And then, of course, I need the extra hoppers for a few other things here. Um, I just have to finish the connection so that way it actually goes somewhere. And then also... I have to, I made a raw chicken cooker a while ago, but I never actually finished the bottom. So I have to do I do have to finish the bottom of the raw chicken cooker. And the problem with it is I didn't set up a thing where I only get raw chickens. I'm right now for the time being getting everything. And I don't want everything to come out of that raw chicken machine, you know? And so that that's what I'm getting there. Yeah, so this is actually turning into a really fun project. I'm 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 thoroughly enjoying this, to believe to be honest with you. So I do, I do hear the machine working, and I know we're getting something in there, which is kind of cool. We got 15 already so far. That's kind of cool. And it's just working on what, whatever's in the bottom row there, and I can't see any of that right now because, well, just look at how high up I am already, and look what I'm dealing with. I can't see anything that's going on down there. So I assume all of the lower ones are connected and working like they should while I build this upper area here. So hopefully... Hopefully, realistically, everything is doing what it's supposed to do. So we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear, I guess, and see what happens. Next up is the Observer Blocks. And by the way, I am extremely happy to have actually just enough material to make a sugarcane farm. Oh, geez. Okay, because I was kind of worried. I think they went away. Oh, good. Oh, woo. I was like, don't disappear. Not yet. I don't want to go down there and try to get it again. But anyways, I'm, I would... I was kind of happy that I have just enough material for at least one of these. And I could always make, like, a eventually down the road later, make a second one of these. Maybe somewhere else, just making more trigger cane and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. But, no, this this will do for me. I'm happy to at least have 32 sugar cane pieces at least coming out. So, if I get two each for 32, that's, like, 64. That's basically a stack of sugar cane, however long it takes to grow. You know what I mean? And of course, I got to put some water down there, and I'm going to do exactly what I did there here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put in this in the center, just to have that as the centerpiece. Fill in all of this with water, and then we're going to cap it off with um, some lights and stuff. And in the meantime, while we're here, we might as well just like, you know, I can't plant it without the water. Okay, once I get the water, we're going to go ahead and plant it and get the thing growing and everything like that. Okay, I assume I could just cap this off with a bunch of lights like this. I assume this will work. This is just a big wild assumption of mine right here that I could just do this and make it function like it probably should. But I'm not entirely sure it's going to do it. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, once I get the last of this up here, I think it should work. And of course, I, I put this here. I don't know why I put this there, but I did. There it goes. Thank you. Put this back there. There we go. Okay, now we got all the light there. And then what I could just do here is just like what I did down there. Just cap this off so that way it's contained. Because this will be at least three high. Uh, it goes one down there, then two and three. And then we don't really need anything in the middle here. So just, just for the sake of knowing that this is just a flat surface. We just contain that. 
And then whether or not we need to contain or do anything with the external pieces of this building, I don't know. I could do it in this episode. I could do it in some other episode. Not entirely sure, really. But yeah, so this should do what it's supposed to do. And everything down there should do what it's supposed to do as well. And it looks like it's working, as far at least as far as I can tell. And let's see if I can jump over there. Oh, I did. Okay, good. So this is kind of cool. So these here will keep... This will at least let me get to see what's going on down there. And then I can just go up there and just see what's going on upstairs as well. So it looks like it's working pretty good. Because there's one right there that's about to do everything that it's supposed to do. And by the way, it's not each individual one. Each individual one is not going to be working independently of each other. Because they're all tied into the same piston. So that's the only downside with that. But I mean, I could set it up to where each one has its own setup thing. But I, that works, you know. So every time one hits a three, they just start bumping away. And they bump off of whatever is higher so to speak so it's going to be a little tricky because not only do i got this guy in my way um i'm just thinking about this i really am and so if i go straight down what's going to happen here is i'm going to lose the edging that exists here and i don't want to lose that one because what's going to happen if i second i take this one out it's going to kind of ruin it so i've got another idea Instead of just taking it straight out like I was thinking I was going to do, I'm actually going to push this out one. Yeah, that means I have to take it out again. I'm going to push it out one like I had it. And then this time... There. Okay. This time, this is just going to go from here. It's just going to drop down all the way down to here. And then it will just cook up to this guy right here. And that will be probably the better way to go because if I don't do that I'm going to ruin part of my build here and that would be just horrendous to even try to do something like that so let's just stack a bunch of these up and I don't know if I have enough to make it all the way up to the top I don't I'm missing one okay we can get some more okay in the middle of the rainstorm there you have it it's not pretty nor is it like sleek or anything like that by any means I could just like come up with like an outside design or something like that i probably just stick a furnace on the outside of this one here, like right up at the top there. I probably also probably should have stuck a furnace right in that spot right there, but that's okay. But this works, and I've got like two chests here, so that way I can eventually fill it up with sugarcane. I've got 20 sugarcane so far, plus the three random sugarcane that I've got here. Uh, it's going to do its thing, and it's just going to be running as I go off and run around and do other things. I could like layer this bottom part and just put some other, you know, some stuff there. That way someone like this pit guy can't get stuck in the middle of the rainstorm underneath my build. But yeah, it works. It works really well. And it's not the fastest machine in the world. But hey, we're going to see how fast it starts to go after, you know, after the top one starts to grow a little while. And we'll see what happens. Alright guys, I just added a little extra wood. Just to have a little extra flavor to it. But um, if you guys liked this episode, please do like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Um, tell me what you think of my little mini uh, sugarcane farm. I mean, to be realistic, I don't think I need a whole lot of sugarcane. Especially if this thing just keeps going and going and going and fills up the entire chest full of sugarcane. At some point, which it will. But um, I have whatever sugarcane I've got out here to work with at least until that thing's full. And then... Down the road, I could just like rely on that thing for all my paper needs because realistically, I'm not going to use paper. I'm just going to do building and make things out here and eventually just do what I need to do. Um, I'm going to go back and fix this here. I want to fix my chest so I don't get this problem. I want to kick out everything and only make this all chicken only. And so I just got to do a little um, work up here to make that actually happen for me. I, I forgot to set up a little auto sort thing on the bottom. Yeah, so I'm going to make it just like how I made this one here. Alright guys, we'll see you next time, okay? I just need to remind myself how I made this one, okay? That's the only reason I'm digging in here. Where's my, where's my stuff? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say these, like, new trap plates are actually kind of cool. I like, I, I don't want the feathers. Well, I don't want the feathers. Uh, but yeah, I like the, the trap, the trap doors. They're actually really nice. I mean, look at that. You can't even see anything in this one. And then you can pop it open and just view everything you need to see, which I've got all my raw chicken right here. This is super cool.